Hi, welcome to this Maximal Application Suite video series brought to you by Maven Asset Management. This video is the second in a series to highlight the IBM Graphical Scheduler applications. In this video, we will take a look at what data is required to be set up in Maximo to enable the use of the scheduling applications. What we'll take a look at is our calendars and shifts, our person and labor records, our job plans, and our work orders. So we'll start out with the calendar. So in the calendar application, you must first create a calendar. The work periods will be defined. You'll create a shifts and you will apply those shifts. You can also set your holidays. So in our example here, we see the start date and the end date of our calendar. We can also see that we've applied shift because we see the available hours for the different days of the week. And we can also see that we have our holidays defined because we see the President's Day holiday here. We have our work periods. So the work periods are defined based on the shifts that are applied to the schedule. And then we go to our shifts. We can see we have a day and an evening and a night shift already set up. The patterns have been defined and the shifts have been applied to the schedule. So all of those pieces need to be in place in order to use scheduler. So now let's go over to our person records. Anybody that you are going to be assigning work to, checking their availability, all needs to have a person record set up. And what do we need to have on the person record? We need to have that primary shift and calendar. So next we need to go over to that person's labor record and we need to make sure that they have a default craft. So you can see we have a craft assigned and it is checked to default. When a user only has one craft, that is their default, but they could have multiple crafts and then you would select the default from there. So next we're gonna take a look at our job plans. So what's important on our job plans, whether a job plan is just used on a work order or a preventative maintenance work order, it's very important that we always add labor to those job plans. So when I say labor, some people call it planned labor, some people call it craft requirements, but whatever you call it, we need to make sure it's added to any job plan that we're gonna use on a work order that we want to schedule using the scheduler applications. So you can see there's, if you're scheduling crews, you can add crews you need a crew or a craft. If your organization uses skill levels, you can fill in the skill levels. You also want to add the quantity. So I need one electrician, one mechanic, and then we also need their effort hours. So in this example, we need one mechanic for two hours and one electrician for two hours. And next we'll take a look at our work order. In our work order, on the plans tab, the things just like our job plan, we need to make sure we have those labor rows added to the plans tab on a work order. If we're not using a job plan that already pulls that information in, we need to make sure we add it just like we did on the job plan. If we're using crews or we're using crafts, once again, if we've got those skill levels, our quantity, and our effort hours. Those are the pieces that are important to have in place on your work orders, set up on your person records and your calendars prior to start using the Maximo scheduling applications. Thank you for watching this video.